If you call fat, stupid, ugly, dumb, you never amount to anything, I shouldn't have married you, I dated you to give you a chance, your parents were right, your friends were right, that's your first inclination that you have closure. A lot of y'all wait for weeks, months, years for closure. Once they start calling you out of your name, disrespecting you, not spending time with your kids or their kids, that's your closure. A lot of you wait and think they're going to change. They are going to change. They're going to get worse. Narcissistic people like to keep you mentally paralyzed, like to keep you off balance, like to keep you afraid of them. They like to keep you wondering. And if it's, if it's a narcissistic woman, a, a female Leon talking to a male, they say things like, you got a small penis. You don't know how to make love. You don't know my body. You need to make more money. I'm not happy here. You need to get a better car. You need to get a bigger house. All those things are very negative things. A lot of times, narcissistic people say those things to make you feel bad about who you really are. And you're actually a great or good person. They're not great or good people. The mouth reveals what the heart feels. Narcissistic people have cold hearts, callous minds, and they don't care. It's not about, not even just about not having empathy or sympathy, but they don't have wherewithal. They don't understand you, your emotions, your feelings. They put you down day in, day out, month in, month out. And a lot of you think they're going to marry you later on. They're not, they're not going to marry a person that they're, they're able to talk to like that. They're going to use you. They are addicted to abusing you and abusing people, narcissistic people, when they abuse people, it feels good to them. It makes them feel superior. It makes them feel like they're in control. They like to dominate. They like to be domineering. So you, you, I hear this a lot. When are they going to give me closure? They're not, first of all, not going to give you closure because they want to keep that door open just a little bit. They want to keep you uh, hurting. They want to keep you doubting yourself. They want to keep you delirious. They want to keep you wondering, what are they going to do next? Next thing you're going to do is to continue to abuse you. That's it. There's no agenda in sight uh, for a good reason. So stop waiting on closure. The first time you get closure is when they put you down, when they call you out of your name. You can't love somebody that you're disrespectful to. You can't love somebody that you call names. You can't love somebody that you are just putting down all the time. You can't love somebody if you can sit there and watch them cry, watch them sit in the fetal position. They can't get up and go to work the next morning. You can't possibly love somebody like that. So stop waiting on closure. The moment they put you down, the moment they dis disrespect you, the moment they physically abuse you, spiritually abuse you, financially abuse you, that's your closure. My therapist told me I like women to depend on me. Then when they depend on me, I like I, I got upset. That was abusive. So stop waiting on it and see it when it shows up the first time they put you down.